How are we doing, everybody here? Yeah. Raise your hand if you're not here. We'll just have to wait. My name is Bill Packard. They call me the Magic Man. I'm a magician. All that means is that I know the secrets to some magic tricks. So you want to see some magic tricks? Yeah. We're going to have some music. A voice will say it's time for the show to begin when he announces me, Bill Packard, the Magic Man. That's when you get to clap your hands really loud. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. No practice required. Good for you. Music, please! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the magic show. And now, the star of the show, Bill Packard, the magic man! Thank you! Thank you very much! Are you ready for some fun? Are you ready for the holiday? Do you know what this is? An arrow! It's an arrow. Which way is it pointing? Yeah. That way. Which way? Yeah. To the left. That is correct. This is a keep left sign. Many years ago, it was my job to paint these things. It was important that the arrows point to the left on the front and to the left on the back. That's left on the front, left on the back. Now, after I've done a bunch of these, left on the front and left on the back, this guy came over from the right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I meant, you're right. This guy came over from the right. He said, I'm from the Department of Transportation. I've come to inspect your signs. He said, I like the front side because it points to the left, which is right. But I don't like the back side because it points to the right, which is wrong. You see, left's right and right's wrong, right? I said, right, I'll just take all those signs and turn them over so they point to the left, which is right, right? He said, wrong. Now the other side will be pointing to the right, which is wrong, right? I said, wrong, it points to the left, which is right, right? He said, right, but do what I say and take all those signs that are left pointing to the right, which is wrong, and turn them around so they point to the left, which is right, right? I said, right. So he left. <laughs> so there I was, painting these signs, left on the front, left on the back, left on the front, left on the back. Meanwhile, this other guy came over from the left. Oh, sorry. <laughs> from the left. He said, I'm another guy. <laughs> well, he was. He said, I'm from the Department of Transportation. I've come to inspect your signs. He said, I like the front side, but I don't like the back side. I said, don't tell me it's pointing to the right, which is wrong. He said, no, it's pointing down, and we don't have a tunnel here. The other side points to the right, which is wrong. It should be pointing to the left, which is right. And why is this side pointing up? I said, duck. He said, why is it pointing up? I said, duck. He said, why is it pointing up? I said, duck. He got hit by a duck. He dropped down dead. Now he's six feet under. Do you think it was a sign from above? No, just a duck. <laughs> hey, if you like that, clap your hands. I think we should give away some secrets today. I need somebody good with scissors. I'm going to teach you a trick. I uh, your man with the stripes uh, just great and very quickly. He's excited. Right now. All right, that's my name. Hi there, I'm Bill. What's your name? Nicholas. Nicholas. Any relation to Saint? You're not a saint, are you? No, I've got your teacher, I'll tell you that. Saint Nicholas here. We're going to do a, um, a famous trick called Cut and Restored Rope. That's where you take a long piece of rope like this one, cut it into pieces with scissors, and put the ends back together again without any knots. Have you ever done this trick? Oh, you'll love it! This is really fun. Here's what you do, Nicholas. You take your long piece of rope, you find out where the middle is, 
and that's where you cut it, right there in the center. You have the honors of cutting the rope into two equal pieces. In the middle. trick scissors. <laughs> I have another pair. All right, so you take a long piece of rope, you find out where the middle is, and that's where you cut it right there in the center, please. You can't use these. These are broken. I'm sorry. It's a good thing I carry spares. You take a long piece of rope, you find out where the middle is, and that's where you cut it, right there in the center. There's something wrong with these, too. I'm running out of scissors. You take a long piece of rope, you find out where the middle is, and that's where you cut it. Do they work? Okay. We're gonna laugh at this part. Can you see this in the back okay? Yeah. Alright, good. Yeah, take your time. But hurry up. Ooh, it's the bush shredder technique. So we have two pieces of rope that are about the same length. Whoa, Nicholas. They're not the same. You know what that means? We have to start over. Cut it in the middle this time, or it won't work again. You're a very good cutter. Yeah, you're almost there. There you go. How's that? Is that about even? Good. All right, let's put the scissors down in a safe place. Take your rope. Do exactly what I do, Nicholas. You can do this, I promise. First, you tie the ends together into a loop. You can use a square or a granny. That's up to you. Two knots in a row. Here's one. Nope, that's a half. No, that's one. That's good. You did good. I'm sorry. And then another knot right on top of that. Yes. Excellent. Good job, Nicholas. So take the scissors, please, and cut my rope opposite the knot, way up here at the top of the loop. That puts the knot in the middle. Let's do the same with yours, opposite the knot. Great, we're done with the scissors, thank you very much. We each have two pieces of rope tied together in the center. Pull on the ends to make sure that knot's tight. Is that a tight knot? You tied it yourself, didn't you? Here's the fun part, Nicholas. You take your hand and wave it over your knot in a magical gesture. Say these magic words. Owa. Tagu. Science. That's great. Do it again. Owa. Tagu. Science. Put it together. Owa tagu. Science. Slide the knot off the rock, Nicholas, and show everybody how you just did the cut and restored rope trick. That's a big applause cue. There is a gift for Nicholas and a rose for me. You get these few souvenirs if you promise not to tell anybody how we did it. Is it a deal? Yes. All right, let's hear it for Nicholas. Do you like getting mail? Yeah. yeah! Unfortunately, we get a lot more mail around the holiday season, but right now my mailbox is empty. Uh -oh. So I wonder, would you mind sending me some mail? No! Yeah. Yeah, okay. I need someone with imagination. And that's what we do at 
somebody from the back. And the yellow shirt there, could you stand up, please? You can stay where you are. Thank you very much. What is your name? Kyle. Kyle? <laughs> Kyle? Yes. Oh, you went like this when I said <laughs> That was like a yes? <laughs> Kyle, you have a good imagination? Great. Can you imagine that this is a deck of cards? Say yes. Good, all right. Catch, please. Yeah, all right, Kyle. Now, do you see there's an imaginary table right in front of you? Do you see it? Say yes. Good. Open the box, please, with the cards in it, and take the cards out. Do not mix them. They are in order. Take out the cards, please, and spread them out on the little table in front of you, evenly. Just spread them out. You don't want to mix them up at all. All right, are they face up or are they face down? You want to up face up? Is face up? Okay, can you see that they are in order? Twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, tens, jacks, queens, kings, and aces. <laughs> All right? Divide the, uh, the, the cards into two piles. So you just, between the twos, the tens, and the jacks or the aces, so you get two piles. Great. Now, I'd like you to tear up some of these cards, Kyle. Would you like to tear up the twos, the tens, or the jacks, or the aces first? Aces? Okay? Could you pick those up, please? And make two piles of red cards and black cards. You'll have to look at each one. <laughs> Quickly, red and black. Cool. All right, put them on the table there. Would you like to tear up the red cards or the black cards? You have your choice. Would you like to trade for what's behind the curtain? No, okay. <laughs> no, he's trading. Okay. Black. <laughs> okay, tear up the black cards, please. <coughs> cool. So now you have a pile of red cards. Could you pick those up, please, and make two piles of hearts and diamonds? The hearts are like this. Very good. Now I'd like you to tear up either the hearts or the diamonds. Which do you want to tear up? Diamonds, tear them off. Get that aggression out of your system. Great. Now you have some hearts left, but I think there's only four. There's a jack, queen, king, and ace of hearts. Could you spread them out so you can see all four of their faces? And Kyle, could you tear up any three, please? Hearts. Okay, you had a jack, queen, king, and ace. Which ones did you tear up? Ace, jack, and king. So you're left with a queen of hearts? Is there any way that I made you select that card in particular? Was that a free choice? Me, yes. You could tear up any of the cards you wanted to all along the way. Yeah. Okay. Put that card into an imaginary envelope, please. And include a note that says, Dear Bill, that's me, thank you for letting me help in the show. It's a polite thing to do. Great. And uh, uh, seal the envelope. There you go. Put a stamp on it. My address, Bill Packard, Magic Man. Santa knows where I live. <laughs> and, and return address just in case. <laughs> Great. Now, send it to me, airmail, please. What? Airmail! got me. Thank you, Kyle. You can sit down for a moment. Or something here. Uh, it's not very thick. Couldn't be much inside. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Oh, look, there's, there's a note. Oh. Dear Bill. 
And inside of the hand and note, there's a card. What card did you send me, Kyle? Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts? Hello, I'm Bill the Magic Man. What's your name? Isabel. Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Thank you for coming up. Do you like to draw? Yeah, me too. I have some things to draw on. I also have some things to draw with. Now, this is permanent ink, so don't get him on Miss Kitty, okay? I also have a thank you for coming up. I really do appreciate it, Isabel. Did I scare you? How old are you, Isabel? What is that? Isabel? Oh, how old are you? Just eight? Would you have a piece or something? I just ate two. But how old are you? Oh, eight years old! <laughs> I get it. It's okay, they only talk once. Oh, <laughs> it smells like rubber. <laughs> Isabel, this is for you, if you do a good job. I'm sure you will. Stay. Stay. Isabel and I are each going to draw a picture. You can pick the color, red or blue. She goes red. All right. Can I draw my picture first? Isabel, all you have to do is stand there and look pretty. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Forgive me if this doesn't turn out very good. I can see that Isabel is a beautiful model. Some hair on the side. But I am a terrible artist. Two legs. Two arms. And there we have it, my drawing of Isabel. Hey, I'm no Rembrandt. <laughs> But neither was Picasso. Here, I'll put my name on the back so we'll remember who drew this. I am Bill, formerly known as the artist. And Isabel, I'm going to give you a chance to get back at me. Why don't you draw a picture of me? I'll just stand here and look. I must have skipped the track. What did I skip? Oh, yeah, I skipped one. Okay, here, here's what I want. Everybody! Well, here, put your name on the back, please, because this might be worthless someday. Ooh, thank you. Now, to recap. Oh, you already did. To recap. Isabel and I have each drawn a picture. We'll place the picture that Isabel drew of me into this bag, which you may hang on to for a moment. And we'll take the picture that I drew, thank you, that's all right. Uh, and we'll put that into the other bag. Now, did you notice we used different colored markers? 
That's so they match the frames, of course, and the bags. Our names are on the back, so you can see who drew which picture. Isabel, I'd like to trade the balloon flower for the picture that you drew me, the one in red. May I have it? Thank you. I have the picture Isabel drew of Bill. What do you have? Why, that's the picture that I drew of Isabel. And if you'll hold this in your left hand, your other left hand, then it starts to look even more like her now, doesn't it? Let's get Isabel a big round of applause! Now, I was doing some shopping some holiday shopping. I went into a jewelry store. I told the man behind the counter that I wanted to buy a ring. I wasn't sure what kind of ring, but I wanted to give it to someone really special. Well, the man behind the counter said, like salespeople do, you've come to the right place, but you need to be have right here in this store. It's called a friendship. I said, a friendship ring, that sounds great. What do they look like? Well, he went to the back of his store, and he came back out with one, two, three, four, five, six big rings that he called friendship rings. And he let me look at one. Would you like to see one? Could you stand up, please, and walk this way? Oh, that way's good, too. Hi, what's your name? Jenna. Hi, Jenna. How old are you? Eight. Just eight, too? Oh, you guys aren't hungry, are you? Uh, I need somebody over here. Let's pick up. Uh, uh, we'll pick this just That'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Hello, what's your name? Blair. Hi, Blair. And, and your name again? Jenna, Jenna and Blair. Yeah. How old are you, Blair? Oh. Are you married? <laughs> I'm just trying to make conversation. Blair and Jenna. The man behind the counter said these are the best friendship rings in the world. They're made of solid steel, chrome plated for a really nice shine, and they're made in a circle. One, two. But that means never-ending friendship. If you look really close, you won't find any hidden wires or trap doors or mirrors, but there is a hole. Did you find the hole, Jenna? Yes, it's a big one, right in the middle. You're very smart. What grade are you in? Oh, like everybody else, okay. So you, it's a, law, um, a complete circle of steel. Uh, your ring has two holes, did you notice? Oh yeah, there's a hole going this way. And look, there's another hole <laughs> that way. Yeah. I said, how do I know these are really friendship rings? And the man behind the counter said, friendship rings are so special. If they're allowed to come near each other for more than a second, sometimes they become attached to each other. Like good friends. Each ring is a complete circle all by itself, but there's a magical bond called friendship that seems to hold them together. Sometimes you can take them apart, but they'll come flying right back to each other. They may spin off in different directions, but one will reach out and catch the other if he should fall. Anyone can do this, even Jenna. <laughs> Hold on to the ring, please, with two hands. You know what? I brought these up, but I'm not using them. See the little thing with the little feet on it? That's a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> All right, so you're holding your hand like this, like you're driving your car. Do you drive a car? No. That's okay. That's okay. Turn it toward me like it's a bow and arrow. That's good. Don't shoot. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt. This is as easy as one, two, three. And look, Jenna, we've become friends too. Jenna deserves a big round of applause. Now, Blair, do you think that friendship is just for two? 
friendship is for everyone. I have a ring for you to hold. Wait, let's make that two rings. Oh, this is friendship. I'd like you to have three. Well, okay. <laughs> that leaves one, two, three for me. Do what I do, Blair, and let's put them together. Are you ready? Go. Can you do that? Cool. Have you done this before? <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Blair. Why is somebody kind of tall? Okay. I see a young man that's got a black t-shirt on with some bright cream on it. I do my own studios or something. It's not safe. Oh, good guy. Yeah, it's not bad. Hi there. I'm Bill. What's your name? Spencer, all right, there's a little uh, feet thing, so I think we're going to go, Spencer. We're going to take these weeks apart. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. You're not, you're not the kid I talked to on the wing? How did you do Oh, okay, all right, I'll show you how. You take your ha uh, hands and put them over the spots that come together like this. This is the hard part. <laughs> Very good, Spencer. Thank you. Now, you fold one over like a door, give it a little wiggle, and watch it come off. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Do the other side. Fold it over like a door, give it a little wiggle. <laughs> Did you wiggle? Oh, I know what happened. The friendship in those rings is so strong, they don't want to come apart. Well, here, Spencer, put these two back together, please. And let me remind everyone about friendship. These three get along very well. But maybe they'll meet another ring, and their friendship will grow and grow and grow. They'll make a nice circle of friends. As time goes by, they'll become even more attached to each other. And they'll start to have a lot of fun together. How are you doing, Spencer? Hey, that's good. They'll play on the swings. Play ball! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 Is not a bad idea. <laughs> yes, they'll have a lot of together, these four, but maybe they'll meet another ring. And he'll say, Gee, could I join your group? And they'll say, Sure. So he'll meet each and every one of the other rings until he is caught up in their friendship as well. And then they'll meet another and another and another. Before you know it, you have a long chain of They say that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, but this magical bond called friendship will hold them all together for a very long time. I said, this is great, but how much do they cost? The man behind the counter said, they're not for sale. And he started to take them away. Ha ha. One. Two. Three. Four. And as he took the last two, he said, tell you what, I'll give them to you if you promise to remind everyone about the magical power called friendship. Doesn't that have a nice ring to it? Let's hear it for Spencer, he's a good sport. Thank you very much, good job, sir. Well, I'm getting kind of tired. 
I need somebody to take over for me. So, see, we need, uh, we need somebody to be a magician for a while. Okay, I'm coming with a red shirt. Like this one's for me. Could you sit right here, please? I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Alex. Uh, you're gonna be the magician, okay? I need. I got some props here. Yep, I got everything I need. I think. And I also have a microphone, Alex, because uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a risk. Uh, don't worry. I, I'll 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 cue you in what you uh, what you're supposed to say and do. Okay. Here we go. That's for you. I'll turn the light off. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Yeah, I'll say it again. Hi. 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 Would you like to see a card trick? Do you like to see a card trick? No. Some reading material. You might recognize one or 
opportunities. Uh, let's see, we've got Webster's Dictionary. Now these words are in order, and there's a uh, can't say many, but take your time. There's a lot of words in there. Uh, we have some paperbacks. We've got uh, Instant Intuition. I think that's a young lady's book. Rochenko Target. That sounds like a boy's book, I think. Uh, Ultimate Flashback Pack. A fascinating journey into the inner depths of the human mind. Mm, heavy. It's heavy. Play ball for the sportsman. And Brooklyn Blood. I need someone who can read. Right, come join me, please. Thank you. I'm, my name's Bill. What's your name, David? Oh, cool. <laughs> David, I would like you to read one word from one of these books. Could you hold up the books, please? Everything except the dictionary, because they're in order. Jacob, uh, is it Jacob? I'm sorry. David, 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 which uh, book would you like to read from? It's one, two, hold up your books, please. Three, four, five, good. That one, David? Okay, thank you. All right, David, I'm going to flip through the pages like this. I'll go like this, but I'll do it really slowly. And wherever you say stop, I'd like you to look at the first word on that page and remember it. But it's a secret, okay? Don't tell me what it is. All right, I will go slow. You say stop. Is right there okay? Is there a word up in that corner up there somewhere? Is there? Okay, and do you know what the word is? All right, keep your finger in there in case we need to look it up later. All right, David, I'd like you to send that word to me in your mind only. Okay, that's a little bit hard. Let's just try the first letter. Send me the first letter in your mind only. I received the letter S. Is that what you're sending me? Good, good. All right, do the second letter. L. I got L. Is it L? Great. Oh, oh. let's go for the whole word this time. The word I see is Slightly. What word are you looking at? Slightly. Cool. While you're there, David. Go ahead, open it up. Don't need to be the same page. Here, just look. Right there's fine. Uh, go down to where there's an indentation, which is the beginning of a paragraph, and point to any word in the paragraph at all. One word. You have a word, David? All right. Concentrate on it. Try to send it to me in your mind only. Hmm. Does the word begin with the letter M? Oh, nobody's perfect. <laughs> what letter did it begin with? What? What letter? G. Oh, I was way off, wasn't I? I'm sorry, David. Will you, will you give me another chance? Go to the next word in the same line, please. You got a new word? The word I see is immense. What word are you thinking of? Immense! Come on, let's have her day. Good reader. Thank you very much. Oh, I need somebody else who can read. Uh, okay. How about, uh, how about this one, lady? Thank you. Hi, I'm Bill. What's your name? Again? Lauren. Lauren. You say it different than you. Lauren. Okay. La Lauren. Okay. Lauren. Very good. Uh, would you like to read from this book or one of the others? Hold up your books, please. No. Okay. Great. All right. I'd like to collect the books, please. Okay. Lauren, open to any page you like. We have a couple more books over here, please. Let's hand it back, please. Hey, sports guy. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Keep the dictionary for now. Lauren. Open to any page you want. We're going to take the Evelyn Woods speed reading course. This is how it works. Put your finger on the top of either page. One side or the other. And when I say go, Lauren, I'd like you to do this. Now, you don't read it. You just look at the words as you go and finish the entire page about that fast. This is speed reading. Are you ready? Go. Excellent! That was really fast. It made it tough for me because I was trying to pick up a little bit on what you were reading. Now, that's third or fourth line from the bottom. 
I got an impression of a person's name. Is there a name there? Yeah, it's a man's name. Because there's a Mr. in front of it. Mr. Brewster, is that right? Oh, well, his name is Robert. Is it Robert? Third or fourth line from the bottom, a person's name, who's Robert. Or Mr. Brewster goes by both names. What do you have? You said yes, there was a name. It's not Robert or Mr. Brewster? Okay. Hmm. Third or fourth line from the bottom, Mr. Brewster. How about that? All right, quick. That was great. Now, Lauren, oh, open it back up. Did you find it? Mr. Brewster, right? Right there. Yeah, good. Okay. Tell you what, go to the next line, please. And pick out a really big word, something with a lot of letters to make this really challenging. Not if, and, or buts, right? It's a big word. Cool. Concentrate on it. Send it to me in your mind. Wow. <laughs> Total blank on that one. Try again, please. I'm not getting any letters, Lauren. You guys need to sit down. Oh, is it a number? It's a number. I see the number. No, it's not. 6211. 6211 popped right in my head. Does that number mean anything to you? 6211. <sighs> Lauren, I have no idea what the word is, but I know where we could find it. We have a dictionary. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa, open the dictionary, please. Lauren is sending me this number, 6211. That's a lot of digits. Let's just use the first two. 62. Could you turn to page 62, please? And Lauren is sending me this number one. Maybe that means the first column. And then there's another one. Maybe that means the first entry. What is the first entry on the first column on page 62? Everything. What is it? Everything. Everything? What word are you thinking of, Lauren? Everything. Everything. Thank you very much. Let's have a round of applause for these wonderful readers. Whoa. Thank you very much. Would you like to see my snake collection? Yeah. See if you know what kind of snake this is. This is a diamondback rattler. It's a diamondback rattler. Yeah. All right, here's another one. This is hard. It's a garter snake. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got another one. A uh, cottonmouth moccasin. Cool, cool, cool. That's right. That's just a joke. But I have another one here. He's actually a king cobra. I thought you might like to meet him. I have to keep him separate, of course. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't have a very good suit. Let's see how he's doing. His name is Fred. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> He's right here. Hi, Fred. How are you? Oh, okay. Okay. He, he prefers to sleep. Well, I need somebody who's not afraid of snakes. <laughs> Mariah, you're not afraid of snakes? Okay, good. I'm proud of you. Mariah, we're going to do a trick with Fred. I've trained him. He's a trained snake. He does a card trick. So first, we have to select a card. We have a whole deck of cards here. You can pick any one you want. You can even look at it first. It's your choice of which card you'd like to use. Very good. And could you put a big mark on the face of the card? It could be your name, it could be a smiley face, anything you like, so that when you see the card another time, you'll know it is the very same card and not one that just looks like it. And so make it really big so that when you turn it around, you can show everybody what you've done. Thank you. To recap, Mariah has 
signed a card. Could you show it to everyone? Can you see the mark she's put on that? Yeah. All right. Mariah, it's Fred's job to try to locate your card, but first we have to hide it. So just stick it somewhere in the shuffle here. And we're going to have Fred try to find your card. It's not as hard as it sounds. Because you just put some fresh ink on a playing card. And Fred, although he can't see very well, has a really good sense of smell. So we're going to place these cards right next to Fred's basket where, where you can see them. And we, we need to wake him up. We'll have to use the traditional Indian method. <laughs> Doesn't that mean wake up? <laughs> All right, I'll try a different one. Didn't work either. I'm sorry. I guess he doesn't want to cooperate. Tell you what, just go ahead and pick up the cards. I'll try to find your card. Did you see that? Somebody say, go! Wait a minute. This isn't the right balloon! You need long, skinny balloons to make balloon animals. So here we go. Rabbit. It's a wiener dog. It's a wiener dog. That does a rabbit. 
it have that this doesn't have? Wait. 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 How many? All right, good for you. Tell you what, we'll put his four legs in the front and two more in the back. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's a rabbit. Oh, ears. So he can hear. Okay, he has ears. Eyes. So he can see. See. Mm -hmm. A mouth. Oh, a nose, so he can smell. Yeah, he smells. A tail, so he can wiggle. Still something missing. Whiskers, you can't have a happy head without whiskers, so he can whisk. He has a face, ears, tail, feet, whiskers. It's pretty good. Let's put him in the cage. Hurry, hold him away. Does it look like a rabbit? they can help you get into a single file line on your way out so you can meet the bunny. His name is Presto.